after watching this video, you will be able to build the Calyx rack from IKEA. In this video, we show you how to build the Calyx rack with 16 shelves. Included in delivery are 12 small shelves, 54 wooden packs, 4 Phillips screws, 8 long hexagon socket screws, 2 metal angle brackets and 2 caps, 2 loop plates, 12 felt pads, 1 top panel, 3 transverse shelves, 1 floor panel and 2 side walls. In addition to that, you'll need the following tools. A hammer, a Phillips screwdriver, an Allen key, which comes with the delivery, a spirit level and a pencil. At first, you position the side walls, the top panel and the floor panel on your floor. It's recommended to work on a carpet to avoid marks in the piece of furniture and on the floor. Now, one of the side walls is connected to the top panel by using two of the long screws. Then, the wooden pegs are driven in the outer holes of a small shelf. Repeat this process with two other shelves. In the next step, these small shelves are mounted on the top panel. Now all drillings of the three transverse shelves are furnished with wooden pegs. One of the transverse shelves is pushed into the side wall sideways. Then the wooden pegs are driven into the smaller shelves through the transverse shelf. Again, three small shelves are added. This process is now repeated two more times, starting with the transverse shelf. Now the second side wall is put in sideways. Make sure that the marked drillings are on the opposite side of each other. The side wall is mounted to the top panel using two of the longer screws. Wooden packs are now driven into the other holes of the lower small shelves. Afterwards, the floor panel is mounted and retained with four long screws. Lastly, 10 felt pads are put underneath the rack. The upright shelves can help you to keep regular distances. To avoid the risk of falling over, the rack has to be mounted on the wall with the help of angle brackets, just as you can see it here. For that, mount the angle bracket in the provided drillings of the side wall. The rack gets leveled. Afterwards, a screw gets fastened in the wall with the dowel. With this screw, the loop brackets get fastened with the sharp edges pointing to the wall. As a very last step, the caps are getting connected. The rack is now finished. If you like our tutorial series, please subscribe. Furthermore, it is possible to support us on Patreon. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. For further information, please visit our website or get in touch with us.